Hello everyone, uh, this is Gus Gallows and today we are going to start talking about how to build billboards for your DAISY environment. I'm going to be using Matthew Longtime's mod um, for the ML billboards and um, if you haven't heard of Matthew Longtime um, you need to definitely subscribe to his channel on YouTube if you have any desire to do modding because he has a wealth of information. I will post his links into the uh, into the dis uh, description here at the end. Um, anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to, uh, first of all, I need to get the image, right? So I, the image that I want has to be uh, sized to 1024 by 512. Now, I've been given the image from uh, my buddies that are designing this stuff because I am not a designer. And it's going to look like this, findme.png. Okay. So this, uh, this file is a PNG file. Well, we can't work necessarily with a PNG file, so we need to actually convert this to a PAA. And the easiest way to do that is through the DAISY tools, which we're going to turn on. Right now we don't have them, so let's, let's go turn them on. We have to go over here to underneath Home and choose Tools. Once that's in place, we can scroll down to DAISY Tools, launch it, and play it. When that comes up, um, the first thing you want to do if you haven't done this already is go to tools and then click on extract game data. Now this can take a minute because this is a there's a lot of a, a lot of data to be moved in into this folder. Um, then you want to make sure you mount the drive. Mine's already mounted so we can move on. So now that we have, which I did not mean to close, <laughs> now that we have that open, um, I'm going to uh, to go into text view which allows me to convert that image to a PAA file. So we open the file and then we just basically go in file save as and save it as a PAA. Now I've already done this so there's my file right there so I'm going to leave that for the way it is. Once that's saved you can close text view And next thing we want to do is actually edit the object that we're going to put the picture on. So we go into Object Builder, and we need to find the object. So I on the, I've copied the um, billboards mod um, into my P drive, and I'm going to open that. So on the P drive, the ML billboard new is the is the uh, folder that was extracted from Mike from my from Matthew's uh, mod. And inside of that, I can go here and choose this one. Now he has a lot more in his. I deleted all the other ones because I just needed the one to work with. Um, but I usually work with the number with the first one, Billboard underscore one. I'm going to hit open. Um, I guess before we go any further, let me explain something. Um, in the P drive, you're going to want a, a folder where you can save everything to that you're working on. So I created one called WPG Billboards. And inside of that, I've created a, a data folder, and I've copied all of, uh, all of the images into that data folder. You can't see them through this model. Let me actually do it through the browser, or through the Explorer, make it a little bit easier. Um, so on the P drive, WPG Billboards, I've created a data folder. It'll have the config.cpp and any billboard images that I've completed. Um, inside the data folder, it'll have all of the images in PAA and PNG. I mean, I can delete all the PNGs if I want to because I've already copied them to be PAAs, but I, I just try to keep them all there. Um, so you need that P drive folder, WPG billboards or whatever you want to call yours. You also need to create a folder in your um, Daisy game. So you go to wherever Daisy is installed. For me, it's Steam, Steam apps, Common, Daisy. And create a folder called at whatever your whatever your mod is going to be called. Inside of this, you want to create an add-ons folder and a keys folder. And we'll explain how you get data into both of those. But that's that's the setup. So now back to the object builder. We're going to open our image that we're going to be editing, which is right here. Yeah, you have to browse through it. There we go. That's the one I want. Billboard underscore one underscore ml dot p3d opening that now you'll notice that it opened up in a frame view 
and um, everything is highlighted which means that uh, everything's selected which is what we want so if it's not I think you have to hit A maybe it's control A to make sure everything's highlighted then you hit E to get all the properties the only properties we're going to change are the first two so you want to hold down shift and click on the first one then the second one now in here the only thing we're going to change is the texture we don't want to change the material but we're going to take the texture um, from the, from the, the file that we just, just converted to a PAA so let's click the folder let's go back to our WPG billboards file where we saved the, PN, the PAA file change it to type pack or PAA and find me that PA is the file we want to work with. So we click open and we apply it. So now we have that as the image for both of these. So we click OK, we save this as, and in this case we're creating WPG Billboard 4. I've already created this, so um, you know I'm gonna just save over it anyway. So we have a new timestamp. All right, so once that's done, we can close the object builder. When we talked about the files that were put in here, the config.cpp is an important one. Um, it needs to have all of your billboards listed in here. Use this format. It's, a, it's, it's just a, a CPP file, um, so C++ file. But um, each billboard will have its own class. You'll name it what you want it to be in game. So, like if I'm on a, an admin tool and I want to load this in, this is the name I look for. If I want to install it in Daisy Editor, this is the name I'll look for. Um, so, you'll, you'll have the name one, two, three, four. I got four different billboards, and then the path to the billboard without the drive letter. So, in other words, this, if you see a P colon right there, you can take that out and just put that. So save that um, as, as the, uh, when you're done with it. So now we need to actually build the mod, all right, the add-on. So the object's there, we want to make it part of our mod. So we're going to do an add-on builder. And inside the add-on builder, first things first, um, the source directory will always be wherever you're whatever you created on the P drive to store all this stuff. So again, that's my P drive and WPG billboards is where I put it. Okay, That's the source directory. Then the destination directory is going to be that E drive um, folder that you created under, under your game. So under DayZ, Steam Apps, Common, DayZ, and WPG at WPG billboards and then add-ons so you want to make sure it goes all the way to the add-ons folder not not just at the WPG billboards all right and then change your version date I've already done this but um, you can change your ver you can use whatever kind of version numbering scheme you want to use I'm using the date um, and then I just add a dash two or something like that if I'm gonna add additional versions um, make sure you have clear temp folder binarize and enable extended logging turned on the other two need to, can stay off. Um, in options, this is important. Make sure that you have all of these extensions put in here. So log, list of files to copy directly, you want all of these. Um, I will put them in the descrip description as well. Make sure that your path to the project folder is, your P, is the root of your P drive. And then your temp folder can be you know whatever it defaults to. Once that's done, you click on pack. It's binarizing. And okay, notice that we now have the PBO file. Now, PBO file is not enough to deploy this to a server. You actually have to sign it. Um, and to sign it, we can close the DAISY add on builder. We can go to the DSUtils, which hopefully works this time for me because it, it wasn't working last time I tried to run it. Um, we're going to add a source directory, which in this case will be the add-ons folder underneath there. So we'll click that, hit OK. Notice that it pulled up the PBO file. 
and now we can process the files. I already have it says I already have a signature out there, which is fine. That's that's the my private signature. That should never that shouldn't change if you're if you're modifying the same file over and over again. Just make sure you put that in a folder that that's stable. You're not going to lose that folder at any given time. Click yes. It processes and it's signed. Now notice it is now it now has a buy sign on it. Now, that's good enough to put into a server, but if you want people to be able to download your mod, you have to do one more step. So under WPG Billboards, we created um, on, the, on the DAISY WPG Billboards, we created that keys folder. So where do you get that key? That's the question. So the answer is right here. Where it says private key, you're gonna go up to the name of the key, Control C, copy that into, um, I'll open another explorer just so I can move it directly over. Let's go to that folder. And in here you will find your buy key. So the wpg.buy key, or whatever you called yours, that's what it's. That's what you're going to put into this keys folder. Once it's in there, um, you can use that one for all everything that, that you generate with this key. The private, the buy private key, you don't want to give to anyone ever. That that's just a um, that's for your system alone. And it keeps, if anyone has that key, they can they can generate mods as you. So you definitely don't want to don't want to give that out. Um, but once you have that buy key moved over, you now have everything you need to actually put this into a mod. Now, how do we do that? How do we get this mod available to Steam? So that's that's actually pretty easy. We uh, we're going to go through and close DSUtils, and now we're going to go to the publisher. Once the publisher comes up, um, I've already got this, but you're probably going to do like a new workshop item, um, unless you're updating an existing WPG billboards. Let's go back to here. Now that everything is there, um, we want to call our our. Uh, the name of our mod, this is what's going to show up in Steam. So WPG underscore billboards is what we're using. We're making it public. It is a mod and it's an environment type. So you can change the tags to whatever types you want to put in there, whether you're whether you're doing equipment or mechanics or sound or characters or animations or whatever. In this case we're, we're doing signs which are environmental. Um, next will be the mod content. For this, you have to go to the top level folder. Um, this is underneath your Steam DayZ, and choose that folder, the at WPG billboards. That way it'll get everything underneath that folder, including the add-ons and the keys. We select it, and we put in a description, any change notes, adding find me sign, adding find me sign, and a uh, I also tend to, I like to put the actual name of the file in there as well, which is this. Actually, you know what, I prefer to put this. So this name right here. Just so if anyone downloads this mod and they want to you know, check out the new sign, they know what to look for. So, that's it. I uh, agree with the Steamworks license. Update. Yes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, <laughs> at the bottom you can change the image um, to whatever you want. So if you want to brand your stuff, you can put your image in, in here and uh, just browse for it and throw it in there. Um, and then whenever they pe people look this up, um, if, when people look this up, they'll see your image associated with it. All right, so that should be published. Let's make sure. If I click on web should take me to it should see the change notes there it is and it's been updated now 
I like to go in and unsubscribe to it, wait for the download to complete, okay, and then resubscribe to it. Whenever, in order to actually see this in game, you'll have to go ahead and restart your game, and then at that point, you should be able to choose it from your mods, um, WPG billboards. And just to show you what that looks like, we can go to Daisy. Let's actually kill the tools. Let's close that because it actually has Daisy running when you when you have the tools running. I have Daisy running and didn't realize it. Nope. Let's give it a sec. All right, let's try to play it. Ah, that's why we have updates. So it's updating the uh, the mod basically that I just installed. So now we can play it. We can go to mods, and we should see that this was updated. And if you haven't added the mod already to your to your thing, it'll be down here somewhere. And you, once you select it, it should also say updated. Um, but yeah, so there you go. WPG billboards is there. I can start my server. Or my server is already running, and uh, so that. I mean, this is basically how we get it to Steam. Now, there's another step that we have to, now we have to put it on the server. So I like to use a Remote Desktop Connection Manager. And I connect to my server. And it's currently running, but I will go in and, and find that folder, WPG Billboards. And then I will connect to my box. Now, a lot of people will have to use FTP or something along those lines to connect it. Um, I will go to my box, do the remote desktop connector or remote desktop connection manager, um, and I will find the folder. Oops, not there. Um, back it up. That was the right place. Okay. <laughs> Got confused for a second. So WPG, WPG Billboards is right there. Um, now this one is not the right one. Um, even though it, it's got the, the right information, I had already manually copied the uh, keys in here. But this won't come in automatically. Um, so you have to actually go to Daisy. If you want the right one, you got to go to the workshop. So Daisy, you make sure your hidden files are viewable. Go to hidden files and folders. And go to workshop. Then look for it in here. And you'll probably have to add the mod in game before or in the, the client before you come looking for it in here. Because it won't show up until it's been selected. Most of the time. Of course, it takes a minute to browse through all the different mods that I have. I have way too many mods. All right, so WPG billboards. In here, it has the add-ons. And you'll notice that the meta and the um, all these are at all in the same date and time. So you'll want to drag the add-ons over to this folder if in, in your, on your server and the meta. So you want all of that to update. And then the keys you can grab from the other folder. So while that's uploading, I'm going to navigate back to that folder. And just grab that keys file and drag it over. Um, once you have that keys file in place, you don't have to keep add adding it in here because it's it's uh, it's the same key 
for all of your mods unless you change the destination of the, where the key is created. So um, we're going to replace the files in the in the folder. And actually, the server's up right now, so I can't. So what I'm going to do? There is nobody on right now, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the server. And then I'm going to before it kicks off the restart. Ah. Hold on, give me a second to actually stop the, the restart process because that happens to be, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> Alright, let's kill it again. Alright, you notice I'm using Daisy, DZSAL mod server, so I have to stop it and Daisy server um, executables to kill the, uh, the process. Um, that's the DZSA launcher mod. Uh, so now we can try again. We should be able to copy it across because the files are no longer in use. Now I have three scripts running, or two scripts running, and one one command prompt up ready to run um, that has all my um, how it, my task to to kill the processes to stop the server. Um, a four hour re re. Uh, reboot sequence so every four hours it'll shut the server down and then a one that looks for the server to be down and if it is down it restarts it that runs every 10 seconds so uh, that's in case of, of a crash or something along those lines so I don't need this one anymore it just updated the, the mod so I'm gonna go in and kick off my restarter again and it should start the server up and if this is a new install for you, make sure you add the mod to your startup. Um, just the, the regular at, um, in this case, at, I put at WPG billboards within my, my uh, dash mod line. If you have questions about that, let me know, because I know I didn't go over that. But um, I just wanted to show you this part. And as soon as this is done, as soon as the server comes up, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, in game whenever you uh, want to load in the image using I'm using VPP admin as our uh, admin tool um, also using zombie or uh, what's it called zomberry but I kinda like VPP admin a little bit better um, zomberry has w like a one or two features that the other one don't have but VPP admin has way more feature rich um, capabilities so let's see here server is starting. I'm going to pause and I'll come back when it's up. Okay, server is back up. There we go. So now we can go look at it. So I'm going to switch over to here, go back to my game, start my, join my server. And you should see that your mod is in the list. If you don't, then you'll want to add it manually and then choose the, the keep current selections. Otherwise, use the setup DLCs and mods and join. Um, it takes about anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes for it to show up in um, DZSA Launcher. So um, if you're coming in that way, uh, make sure you give it time to show up in there. I, I like to come in through the, the client directly when it comes to testing out my mods. And then when I'm done, then I'll come in again through um, DZSA Launcher just to make sure that it's working on that side as well. Server starting up. There we go. Um, in game, first person. All right, so I'm gonna show you from the VPP admin turn it on home and I am going to do project builder and underscore billboard underscore WPG4 so this is the sign as you can see it has the image on it um, once I install that 
that si once I go into the editor and put that sign in, that's that's what I'm, that's the image I'm putting in. Go to PG3 has another image. Go to PG2. This is one of our safe zone images, and WPG1, our other safe zone image. So um, that's really it. Um, hopefully, I did you too badly. Uh, just uh, let me know what you think.